All right, good morning everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. We are uh, checking in another YouTube video here today and uh, just normal training day today. And so we're gonna walk you through what's, uh, what's going on. Not exactly sure what else we're gonna get up to, but I know for sure this morning we're kicking things off with an 8,000 yard swim. You can see my breath, it's still nice and cold out here. So we're gonna get the swim done first. Um, and then I've got a hour and 10 minute run with some short intervals. And we have a lot to do actually today in addition to that because Tuesday next week, Jeannie and I are packing up and we are heading down to Arizona for an extended period of time. So we're trying to like pack up our house, get it ready to rent, pack up all of our stuff, get the essentials organized. So it's a little bit crazy right now, but it's all good and exciting stuff. And um, yeah, first thing is first, we're just gonna get this training session done. 8,000 yard swim, we're at Centennial Pool in Longmont and get her done, let's go. All right, it's a thousand warm up, feeling all right. It's my first time testing these uh, Aftershocks. I was sponsored by them like five years ago and never used them, but I've never also swum 8,000 yards solo multiple times a week. So I loaded up some music and we're, uh, we're gonna knock it out. All right, here we roll. I suppose I'll talk about the set quickly while I wait for the top to go. It is six 400s, six 300s, six 200s, five 100s, and then 100 pretty much max out and you alternate between one moderate, so I'm thinking like Ironman pace-ish, and then one just technical focus with the snorkel. Um, so yeah, we'll roll through that. That should be 6K, did 1,000 warm up, 1,000 warm down, 8,000, all right. All right, got the swim done. Didn't have a uh, lot of opportunities to film in there because I guess the other rec pool in town is closed today or something. And so it was just inundated with grannies doing their backstroke and aqua jogging. And so it didn't want to whip out the camera too much, but, uh, and I was, yeah, bashing out the set, which I always kind of, you kind of don't realize, yeah, I think in my mind, I minimize that being hard, but it actually is quite difficult because not only is it very long, but the effort is pretty solid. Um, yeah, the description is a little bit vague in the sense of like, it's not saying I'll oh, hit this pace or whatever. It just says, you know, like moderate. Um, but yeah, when you accumulate, you know, 3k of moderate effort within a 8k swim and the rest is all pretty solid too. And you have to do, you know, hundred fast at the end. And the whole thing was leaving on a 120 um, base interval. It's not bad, not, not bad swimming. Um, definitely just kind of accumulates and catches, you know, sneaks up on you. And at the end you're like, Ooh, I'm doing 200s and holding 110 pace is actually kind of hard right now. Um, but yeah, all good. And I think that's the whole point of the swim is just like that fatigue resistance. Um, so definitely Ironman focused uh, swim there. And another big thing that I've been doing with these swims is I haven't been using toys and equipment. I feel like in the past I've just been like a bit abusive with those, um, those toys, paddles, buoy, fins, the shorts, kind of like the whole deal. Um, so with all of these 8K swims, like I'm – you know, hour and a half to two hour swims, I'm trying to swim the majority of the efforts. And if I'm using any equipment, it's really just a snorkel to focus on my technique a little bit more. So I feel like my swims really come on um, in the sense of, yeah, I'm only swimming four days a week, but all the swims are really quality and they're, there's no BS in there. Like it's not, it's not like I'm cheating my way through the swim. So anyways, that's uh, first session done for the day. We'll head back home, see what uh, the girls are up to. <laughs> I did have one thought that slipped my mind post swim. And so I didn't touch on the music situation. So I started to swim off with those aftershocks on, kind of vibing out on the warm up. And then I got into the main set and I was swimming along and I was, I was like enjoying the music for sure. I, it was kind of hard to hear in the water, but it was still like, yeah, better than maybe nothing to start. And then I started to realize really quickly that I hated it. Um, and I think the reason that I hated it, I was swimming fine, but I just felt like Swimming is such a rhythmic thing and it requires such a connection between your mind and your body and you need to have this like perfect balance between being relaxed but also pushing hard and like having you know a powerful stroke but you don't want to force things and so I think there's already so many elements that are going on with swimming not to mention like you've already got a million gadgets around like I've got my watch on recording the swim I've got a freaking aura ring on I've got the clock that I'm trying to worry about I'm trying to think about the intervals and splits that I want to hit so adding the music was just like a, a, in my opinion an unnecessary element of annoyance so anyways after like 3k I chucked them off and never put them back on so um yeah I'm not gonna be wearing the aftershocks yet 
Okay, I have returned from swimming. Jeannie made me a bountiful harvest of food back from the swim, so I'm all fueled up. I just burned y'all. <laughs> she burned my bagel a little bit, but it's fine. And now we're taking Millie off for a little walk before the next session. What do you think, Bubba? <laughs> All right, one o'clock. We uh, had a little bit of recovery time, and uh, Jeannie got impatient and bounced, so she's already running. And now I'm gonna go do my workout. Workout that today is 70 minutes, so should be just about 10 miles, and a 40 minute warm up, and then some 90 second, 60 second, four, uh, 30 second, 15 second like short VO2 max intervals with equal recovery. And one thing different about this workout is that the, re the rest is walking. So that's something that I haven't really done before, but it allows you to really kind of run quite fast. On the fast stuff, and I guess that's the whole point, fast stuff, fast, easy stuff, very easy. And then, uh, yeah, just 10 minute little warm down after that. And then done for the day training wise, we'll see um, how much energy I've got for packing things up. I feel like every day I've got a checklist of things I need to do and I procrastinate it until the next day and the next day. So maybe today we'll actually get some packing up um, done. And uh, But first things first again, <laughs> make sure we get this training session knocked out and make sure we're feeling good. All right. Okay, that's a 40 minute warm up and two 90 second uh, efforts done. Thankfully not 90 minutes. Ooh, first one felt real bad. Just getting the stride opened up, but second one was a little bit better. So this is how I typically find I go on this workout. Just need to kind of open things up and get that neuromuscular connection and then, then I'm rolling. So I got some 60s, 30s and 15s coming up. All right, run done. That was uh, actually pretty solid. Once I got past that first interval, I just felt better and better and better through the uh, through the intervals. So I think the first one was like 525 pace. Um, and then they were all like 445 pace after that. So yeah, let's nix the first one. Let's call it eight and a half minutes at 440 average or something. That's not bad. Um, so just getting the kind of the high end. I'm sure this is some sort of reverse periodization type thing happening um but yeah overall it was 10.3 miles 657 average pace including the walking um like an hour and 12 minutes so yeah that's not bad Jeannie's still not back from her run um she drove somewhere but yeah i think we'll get some lunch and then uh, get some recovery on Just spent an hour packing. Actually, that was probably the most productive afternoon that we've had since we uh, decided to pack things up and uh, get going here in about a week. So anyways, that was really good. I think I'm gonna wrap up the video there. Um, I'm actually not gonna wrap up the video because I'm gonna select the winner of the competition. So that's gonna happen right now. All right, here we are. I'm selecting the winner of the YouTube comment um, challenge for the 2023 race kit that I was giving away. So I don't know if you can see here, I'm just using some sort of online random YouTube comment generator. So we are reviewing, 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 reviewing. Okay, it's taking a long time. Oh God, wrong CAPTCHA, great. Okay, we had success. The winner of the competition is Shauna 
McKimmy. So very uh, big congratulations to Shauna. I'm gonna send you a message and we will get you that race kit. You let me know if you want it signed or, uh, or if you just want the race kit to wear. All right, you guys, that's actually the end of the video. Really appreciate everyone tuning into this one. Um, and yeah, next video is going to be us moving and grooving. Uh, I think we have a little bit of a plan for what we're gonna be filming, but it's gonna be a little bit of our journey down to uh, our new destination. And so looking forward to sort of um, yeah, talking more about that, talking more about the new bike, talking more about the race plans coming up. So lots of exciting stuff for the new year. Um, yeah, wish everyone a happy new year and we will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.